it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for May 23rd. We're going to use this deck right here. We're just going to see what comes up. Something's about to be revealed. Yep. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. It could have to do with with an offer being rejected. There could be a rejection here. You know, there could be. I mean, maybe you thought something was arriving and it's not. There could be some dashed expectations. I just got to be honest with you. I hate to start reading out like this. I'm going to put these cards back in the deck. But there's something, some truth, something is, some light is about to be shed on a situation. Somebody may have had their heart set on somebody that is not emotionally available. They may have been wasting their time on somebody that hasn't been telling the truth. Maybe they've been telling secrets. Maybe they've been deceiving them. Or are they not telling secrets, keeping secrets? Maybe they've been um, not invested emotionally and somebody's just coming to that realization. You know, that's what the case is. This isn't love, right? There's no emotional fulfillment here. I mean, it's like the love is, 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 I mean, it's upside down. So there's no love in that cup. It's, it is what it is. So we're going to put them back in there. For some of you, that's the case. Lack of emotion. Somebody has been waiting for somebody that has a lack of emotion, okay? It's like the truth with that moon card. That's the light. That's the, sh the truth, okay? What has been hidden is coming to light. Somebody has been brooding. They've been overanalyzing over a situation. They, may, they could have been dealing with this person or you could be this person. This is a person that is not emotionally available. Somebody is not emotionally available. They're not nurturing you know, they're not mastering their emotions. This is somebody who isn't really available for love. And this person is focused on this person that it almost feels like doesn't love them. When there's another opportunity for love, but they can't see it because they're focused on the person that doesn't have anything to offer them. This is contemplating, though. We have somebody here that is contemplating. Focusing on the loss, they probably know that they have another big, huge offer. This is a false sense of security. This is a necessary evil when the tower comes in. It's like the tower comes in to give you a clean slate so that you can start over. So I feel like somebody has probably had a tower moment and they're being called to start over, but they can't master their emotions enough to do so. This is making a decision. So we have somebody here that is making a decision. This is a serious decision. You know, I feel like this person is really thinking long and hard because somebody may get hurt. He, he's trying to do the right thing for everybody involved. He's trying to do the, the right thing, okay? He's trying to act with integrity. And I think he may be a little distraught over the decision that he has to make. Now, this is the sort of truth he's got in his hands, so he has to speak the truth. He has to act with integrity, and he has the power in his hands, and he knows he has the power in his hands. So, this is working together, teamwork. This is communication. Somebody may be communicating that they do want to work together. I don't know. Brand new beginning here. This is the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. This is something big. Somebody is stepping over that finish line. Somebody is completing a huge phase in their life. You know, this is the last card in the deck. This is somebody has traveled a long way and now they've come to the end of a cycle. And this is a big huge cycle. It's not something little. This is a marriage. This is a graduation. This is a 
job that you've had for 10 years or 20 years. This is big. Somebody has learned a life lesson and now it's time to work on the next one. So this is a major new beginning here. One phase is over. And I think whatever this phase was, there was a, there was a lack of love. Okay? There was. Or there wasn't enough love or... They were dealing they were dealing with some emotional upset, whatever, big time. They were probably dealing with a person that wasn't emotionally available. Period. Mmm. We have somebody here that It's almost like their life has been turned upside down by some sort of uh, major disaster. We have somebody here that keeps going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth as to whether they, what they want to do. <laughs> Somebody's about back, about ready to. Uh, take back control of their life because they want balance they want peace they want harmony it's like it's time to break free and I think we have somebody that is about to cut the cords that's what this is this is cutting the strings cutting the cords that have kept them bound and that's exactly what's happening with this card reversed There's been a lack of peace. There's been a lack of balance. Holding on to this false sense of security, this false foundation, this situation that has left them so discontent. And now we have this, this guy's very practical. You know, he's been trying to be practical. He's been trying to be wise. A very wise individual, very intelligent. Very, very solid, very stable. hard worker but there's a there's a new path and down that new path is a golden opportunity and I think he wants it it's like he's taking it I got this is the opportunity of a lifetime and now he's got it in his hand it's like I want the golden opportunity I want it this is a this is a this is something you can take to the bank this is something you can keep this is something solid this is something long term this is this is the opportunity of a lifetime long term it's solid and he wants it he's taking it so I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding to go down that new path and work together with somebody that wants to work with them this is teamwork they're taking back control that's what we got here somebody is breaking a bond a toxic bond with an individual who You know, it wasn't love. And we saw that with the first three cards. Somebody's been wasting their time with the first three cards that, I, that fell out. With that three of one, somebody's been wasting their time on an unrequited love situation. And it's like now they're seeing the truth. That's not love. I, You know, that's not love. That's not love. Somebody has been holding on to somebody who probably, I mean, didn't love them. I'm sorry, but, you know, I can't. It is what it is. Didn't nurture them. Then didn't, didn't 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 care for them. Didn't take care of them. Whatever. May have seen themselves as as a victim. May have played themselves as as a victim. May have uh, used emotional blackmail as a tactic to get their way. We have this person that has been contemplating taking the new offer. Really focused on, you know, the loss. But now it's like I think this person is taking the golden opportunity. It's like I want that. Not only will it bring me stability, it will bring me peace. Somebody has not been at peace. Life has been unharmonious. They haven't been able to... Oh, find balance, okay? And it's like the time, it's time for renewal. It's 
time to break free. It is. So I think we have somebody here that is making a decision to cut themselves free of a toxic bond, an unhealthy bond, okay? Because they see this golden opportunity. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. And it's like, I'm going down that path because this is, it's so big, okay? It's abundant. It's abundance. It's a new solid opportunity. It's something that you can bank on. So we have Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have somebody here that is making a decision based on, well, they've done their investigation they're acting with they're, they've they're acting with integrity this is a very wise decision they have a lot of wisdom behind their back let me rephrase that this person is a very wise individual very mature And I feel like we I feel like we we have this person that is you know this guy is very disciplined as well, and now he's ready to take back control because things haven't been coming together like they should there things haven't been falling into place things have been upside down long enough. This is a universe card this one is too these are the these are the two universe cards the universe is, is, is stepped in. Now it's time to take that next step. It's time to go after this abundance. So I feel like we have somebody here that is taking that next step. They're going to work together with this. This is work together with some. This is a new opportunity. Going down that road to this. Whatever it is, they manifested it. This is a this is a something solid, okay? This is equal give and take. Somebody that they can work with on equal playing ground. This is reciprocation. This is balance. We have somebody here that is making a decision to break free from an unhealthy situation to bring balance back to their life. They're ready to work together with somebody that can actually that will give them something, that will work with them, that will put in effort, what would be equal give and take. Over here, there was not. Now we got somebody that is definitely moving forward. This is traveling to a new destination. This is literally getting in the car and going down that road. So we have somebody here that is traveling. They're mastering their emotions. They're taking back control of their life, putting themselves in the driver's seat. I'm taking it. I'm doing it. I'm replacing that fear with faith. I, I'm headed. I'm headed. So I feel like we have somebody here that is moving very quickly towards victory, towards something very solid. Okay, this is this is something that is secure. It's something that is going to bring financial stability, put it that way. With the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, I'm telling you what, this is something that is financially stable. It's in, and, and it's teamwork. It's real teamwork. And it's like this person is ready to break free from this unhealthy bond and take, the, take, take back the reins. I'm, I'm going in a new direction. I'm going after what I deserve. Reciprocation equal give and take. I think it hasn't been an easy decision, but I think the decision has been made. This is this is I mean 11/11. This is this is a partnership. This is a they're heading towards it's it's like a divine this is the divine partnership. Y'all yeah, know it is. A divine union, a divine connection. They're heading towards their perfect match, commitment, happiness, extreme happiness. It's like you walk through those doors, you walk through that gate. And 
it's exciting. It's, it's, it's passionate. It's happiness. Okay. It's happiness. It's something to celebrate. Somebody's bringing harmony back to their lives. They're taking action. And I think that it's a fantastic move. Somebody lost their vision. They lost their ambition. They lost their drive. They lost their desire. They may have been dealing with a person that didn't desire them. Oh my goodness. But now we have somebody, we have somebody here that is probably helping them to wake up in some way. You know, she's, she, it's like this person, she's pointing up here. She's, she's looking for communication. She's assertive. She's a communicator. She knows what she wants. We have this person here that it sees the false sense of security, sees that this person is frustrated, sees that this person is going back and forth, sees that this person is in the process of making a decision. This person's watching. This person sees it all, sees it very clearly. So this person is, is, is seeing that this is an opportunity for love. She knows that she knows that this person has a big heart. So we have this person who is probably looking for communication, looking for the truth, maybe even demanding the truth. She's like, I want the truth. This person knows that he has to make a decision because she wants the truth. She's not being patient. She doesn't want to be patient. She doesn't have patience right now. She doesn't. She's not. No patience for her at this point. She wants the truth. She wants communication. She's like... Are you going to give me the communication? You see her hand. She's like, are you going to communicate? Either you communicate with me or I'm going to cut it, um, cutting it off. She's got her weapon, her sword. She says, if you, if you don't, you know, she wants, this is communication. She wants communication. She's going to, if, if he doesn't open his heart, she's probably going to cut him out. I'm just being honest with you. Because she's, she's lost her patience. To her, it's a false sense of security as well because, you know, with no communication, there's no reciprocation, then that's a false sense of security. So we have this woman, I think it's a woman, that is thinking about making her own cut because there's no growth. There's been no growth. He knows it. He does. He knows it. He knows it. He knows that he has to break free from an unhealthy situation to work together with this individual. This is this is some, this man does have good intentions. He does have good intentions. I, I think he has a, a big, huge heart. I feel like this man is getting ready. To face her. <laughs> yeah. That's what's going on here. 
Yeah, that's exactly what's going on here. Okay, so she's she's the goddess of love. She's unconditional love. She's overflowing with love. She gives birth to a new life. She reciprocates. She delivers. She delivers. She's the mother. She delivers. She's, you know, she delivers. So I think we have this masculine that is making a decision to break free from an unhealthy situation and follow his heart because she reciprocates, she delivers, she, she nurtures, she's tender loving care, she does it all. So I think communication is coming in. Somebody is moving in a new direction. Down a path. And I think this has been manifested. This, somebody has manifested this golden opportunity. And somebody's about to seize the opportunity. This really is the opportunity of a lifetime. It is. This is a golden opportunity. It's huge. It's something that, you know... can bring you victory and success, lead you towards victory and success, help you. This is working together to build. This is building together. Anyway. So get prepared. Get prepared because I think that somebody is about to move forward in a new direction down a new path towards something <laughs> huge okay this is the this is huge this is there's going to be reciprocation there's going to be reciprocate somebody is about to reciprocate this opportunity is too big to pass up it's too beautiful it's too beautiful it's too it's it's too generous it's too loving But she knows her worth. And he knows, and that's why she, this one, this, if she does, if he doesn't make a decision, she's going to move on. There's three kings here. She has multiple options. He knows that. This is so beautiful. This is so nurturing. This is everything. She gives life. She brings life. This person knows that he has to make a decision. Somebody is coming forward with an offer, a big offer of love. It's huge. I mean, that's a, it is. It's love. They're breaking free from an unhealthy situation to go after it. And that's what I got. Good luck.